In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Canon M50 mirrorless camera as a webcam with autofocus for live streaming and video conferencing. And that means that your next Zoom meeting is going to go from this to this. Best of all, you can do all of this with no capture card, no HDMI cable, and no third-party software. Let's go. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala. <laughs> How's it going? My name is Marcus Seppa. I'm a stand-up comedian and speaker helping you bring more fun to the corporate stage. On this channel, I share a lot of public speaking tips about how you can better engage with your audience. And these days, that means online video, whether that's Zoom meetings or live streams. Over the past month, I've been using the Canon M50 as my webcam, and today I'm going to tell you about my experiences. In the past, it was difficult to use the M50 as a webcam because you needed a capture card, you needed an HDMI cable, and you couldn't really use autofocus. But as of May 2020, Canon released this EOS webcam utility tool, and that means my video conferencing now looks like this. And if I compare that to my laptop or my phone, you can clearly see the difference. So now we're one month later, and I've been getting a lot of value out of using my M50 as a webcam. But it's not for everybody. Stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to talk about who is this for and who is it not for. In this video, I'm going to talk about what equipment you need to use the M50 as a webcam, what are the steps for setting it up, and also some of the pitfalls and mistakes that I made when I did it. And then I'm going to talk about the pros and cons so that you can decide if this is for you. In the description below, you're going to find timestamps for all the different sections in case you want to jump ahead. But first, I want to get rid of a couple of misconceptions that you often hear about using the M50 for live streaming and video conferencing. The first one is that it only works in the US. Now, this is not true. Although you have to go to the Canon USA website to download it, it's not available on the Canon Europe website. I'm in Europe and I'm able to use the software just fine. The second one is that it's only for Windows 10. And yes, it's listed as a Windows 10 piece of software, but I'm running Windows 7 on my machine and it works perfectly. I have not had any issues. The last thing is, the last misconception is that it doesn't work on Skype. And I'm not sure where this came from, but in my experience, it worked perfectly on Skype for your video calls. Now let's look at what equipment you need to use the M50 as a webcam. First, you need the camera itself, then you need a USB cable. And here you want to have a cable that has a USB micro B connector in one of the ends. That's the end that goes in the camera. Uh, this does not come with the camera itself, but you probably have one lying around. For example, I had one from an old Android phone. I also had one from an old Bluetooth speaker. These cables are everywhere. And if not, you can pick them up for very cheap. And the final thing you need is the EOS webcam utility beta that you can download from Canon USA. Let's look at the individual steps that you need to follow in order to use the M50 as a webcam. First, you need to download and install the software. And I'm going to put a link in the description, or you can just search for EOS webcam utility. You install it on your PC, and then you have to restart your machine. This is something that I missed the first time, and it doesn't really work without it. So just make sure that you restart your computer. Plug in your camera with the USB cable, and then there's another watch out. If you have the EOS Utility, the software that you use for transferring photos from your camera, you need to quit that. Just quit it in the taskbar, otherwise the webcam utility is not going to work. Set your camera to movie mode for the best results. And this is actually one thing that I quite often forget because I also take photos with this camera. It will actually work in the other shooting modes as well, like aperture mode for example, but movie mode really gives you the best results. There's one last little watch out, and that is that you need to open up the screen. You need to flip out the little screen. When the screen is closed, at least in my experience, there is a little bit of lag and there's some pauses in the video. But when you have the screen open, it works perfectly. Now switch on the camera and it's going to show up in all your applications as a webcam. In Zoom and in Skype, you can easy, even use it for Facebook Live and it's going to show up in OBS. Whatever you need to do for your video conferencing and for your live streaming. We're gonna move over to the pros and cons, but hey, if you got some value out of this video so far, please hit that like button for me. The first and most important pro is that the video quality is truly spectacular. When I'm video conferencing with people, this is what people ask me about, like why does your video conferencing on Zoom look this good? And it's because of this camera. 
Another great advantage of this setup is that there's no recording time limit. Like with the previous setup, maybe you have 30 minutes or something like that, but there is no time limit. Uh, another pro is that it is, it is actually easy to set up. If you just follow all those steps and you watch out for those a few pitfalls that I mentioned, it works really, really well. There are also a couple of cons that they all relate to power. With the full charge, I can get just over two hours of video conferencing with this setup. And for me, that works, but that's not going to be the case for everybody. You cannot power the M50 with a USB cable, so your only other choice for continuous power is some kind of dummy battery with a DC input. I unfortunately cannot use that because my tripod does not allow me to access the battery compartment when it is in use. The last con also relates to the battery charge and actually the battery indicator. If I can get just over two hours with a full charge, it's going to show me the half battery indicator on the display just before two hours and then after two hours it's going to die on me. I really wish that it would show the half indicator when the battery is actually half drained and not almost completely drained. So now let's look at who is this for. If you want to do super high quality video conferencing, this is an excellent solution. I've had nothing but positive experiences so far. Same thing if you want to do shorter live streaming sessions. But as mentioned, this setup is not for everybody. If you want to do longer live streams, this is probably not the best solution for you. Also, if you're using a Mac, this is not currently a solution for you because this utility is only available for Windows at the time. But for me, it's been a fantastic solution so far and I'm very happy with it. And here's my question to you. For which purpose would you use the Canon M50 as a webcam? Let me know in the comments below. If you want more public speaking tips about how you can better engage with the audience, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you again very soon, either in the comedy club, in one of my workshops, or right here in the next video.